My smile is different, everything. Like, I'm like all toe up. <laughs> what's up you guys back with another video so i'm so sorry that my energy is low i have to run to urgent care because my toe is itching so bad i'm not sure what's going on i got bit by something i got bit by mosquitoes which my skin, I normally, I'm allergic to mosquitoes, but I was bit by something else because it looks bad and it's just so itchy. I literally just woke up. So I'm gonna see you all when I get to the doctor. here waiting for the doctor to come in the room it's the room <laughs> nothing fancy i don't know why i'm always showing y'all well this seat i never saw a seat like this so that was interesting <laughs> uh but yeah so i'm gonna wait for the doctor to come in um like i said i told them that it was this was about like two weeks ago when i first started feeling itchy however bites bugs bite you all the time so i don't know if all of them came six weeks ago i could still be getting bit by things as i'm going outside but i have been making sure i've been spraying on my off and so i should be i mean i would think i should be okay but i don't know because off with d with or without d i don't think that stuff be working the way it should 100 percent but hopefully it's nothing too crazy i really didn't want to come because i feel like all they do is say oh, okay we're gonna prescribe you an antibiotic and then you be on your way and it's like you got this big old bill for no reason so hopefully it's not that bad i'm gonna show y'all like it is y'all see that how the skin has yes everything it's just getting bad let me show y'all um, so these are some bites Hello, oh, oh hi i'm that? sorry i'm just okay getting some footage so they gave me an option to get a shot in my butt and i'm not about to do that oh! uh, my mind have to be right for shots and i didn't know i don't know i just don't feel like having a shot in my butt i just don't start so i have to take some oral medicine like this whole week some topical cream and it's just all stuff that um they um prescribed for me this is just annoying because they don't know what bit me either which is why i hate coming to the doctor about things like this because i'm like i figured i knew that they were gonna say an antibiotic and something oral and all of that so um we shall see if it works <laughs> Everything for me, or um, I feel it out. I just your registration. I just, like done. I just finished it. Let's see. That's gonna be like three or four of those consents where you just like accept it. Yeah, I accepted like three already. Like, unless I hit a back button. Oh, really? Yeah, you're done. 
Yeah. You're all set. Which one of those old DVDs that we have? And then it should have here where they sent you. Yeah, it was sent to the Walmart on Morton Ranch. Okay. So that's the address right there. Okay. And it was sent electronically, so probably by the time you get there, hopefully it's already ready for you to pick up. Okay. All right. That's why I didn't know. Should I wait an hour or just? Depends how long they take. Give about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank have you. You too. <laughs> So that was it. It did not take up my day. I was concerned about, oh, go to the doctor, take up my whole day. Um, <laughs> before I went, I had to go get air in my tires because, ooh, it's sprinkling. Um, yeah, I don't put air in my tires because I feel like when I do it, I never get it filled up the proper way or I be feeling like I be letting air out. So I went to go get my tires um, done. I mean, filled up. I don't feel the, the top, I had to make sure they put all the tops on because one time somebody didn't put a top on and then the top was lost and I didn't have time for that. But, uh, but yeah, so now I don't know how to turn the dog on alert thing off in the car so now i gotta read through the book figure that out which it's always something with these cars that's why i was like yeah i need to be married and i steady been single but i keep saying that i don't want to deal with car stuff i want to deal with car stuff i've been dealing with it for all this time all these years and I still haven't gotten used to it so I'm gonna have to look through this book and or I could google too and see how do you turn off the air pressure y'all hear it y'all see the air pressure button I can't get it to go away so it's gonna keep beeping every time I step in my car so I gotta figure that out um Google, I'm going I'm to Google and see if it gives me any information. But I got the books right here. I just got to stop being lazy and really take some time and look for it. I don't know why I still got this mask on. Um, I'm going to go pick up my medicine. And yeah, they said something about prednisone. I was like, I haven't heard good things about prednisone. So I'm not about to take prednisone. And I don't want to... Oops. I don't want a shot in my butt. Um, I'm just, a, I don't like medicine. It was really hard for me to take the Accutane for the rosacea on my cheeks. Even when it comes to pain, I have to take ibuprofen and I can take pain. But I'm just not a fan of medicine, being on something consistently all the time. I just don't think it's a good idea for our bodies. I don't think it's natural. I had to stop and get me some El Loco Poco. Am I saying it right? El Loco Poco. Because they got these shrimp tacos that be off the chain. It come with some, some beans. And I said I wasn't gonna be eating in my car, but uh, your girl, your girl is hungry. And I know y'all like, we just saw you eating tacos in the other video. Yeah, well, I'm eating them again because I was craving them this morning. And you got some good shots. They so small though. Look at how small they are. They so little, but they so good. It's like a, spi a spicy, it's the Baja taco, shrimp taco. Mmm. Crazy thing is, I'm allergic to shrimp. So I'm not even really supposed to be, I guess, eating shrimp tacos. But I'm eating this because they're so good. Let me scoop back, y'all. It's it's amazing. If you're in Texas or LA, I already know y'all know about them El Polo Loco. El Pollo Loco. I know y'all been watching all this mess the silliness that's been going on with CJ So Cool and his family. I'm so over it, y'all. 
I saw his video the other day where he was talking about uh, well she can't have no kids so you're gonna have to do IVF with her what is that to say even if it's all staged and it's a joke why would you say something like that that was so mean and so cruel and it really confused me because I'm like wait a minute are they for real like or like I know they're milking it for what it's worth because they get more views but for him to say something like that it just seems so harsh so CJ So Cool is my birthday twin, but he really starting to rub me the wrong way. Like, what's that even called for? That's why I'm be all wrapped up in the whole, what sign to you and all that, cause I don't believe all of it. Cause I don't act nothing like him. Ooh, thought something was in here flying around. I don't act nothing like that man. So we know stuff ain't, now I hope they get it together. Really, I hope CJ get it together because he's the one with all the drama. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have led to this if he hadn't have continued to cheat. And the reason why she had his phones and all of that that he's complaining about is because he was a cheater. He was cheating when she met him. He was cheating on the other girl, and then with the other baby mama, he was cheating on her. Like he is a cheater. So when you're a cheater, of course the women they're not going to trust you so of course they're going to want your instagram passcode so he was just saying a lot of stuff talking like he wasn't in the wrong and that's what got me like okay narcissist i i see that nothing's ever their fault or they they'll be in denial and they'll act like nothing's wrong and um it's not good at all but I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Like I said, I'm gonna go pick up my medicine. I know y'all don't care about. Ooh, now I'm itchy because I'm eating this shrimp. Ooh, let me hurry. This last taco and I'll be done. I ain't gonna ever. Ooh, I don't wanna say I ain't gonna ever eat shrimp. Nah, I don't believe it. Tacos again, but be here up again. So, disregard that I'm back. So, it turns out nine days later, I found myself right back at urgent care because I suffered from a allergic reaction so annoying my smile is different everything like I'm like all toe up I'm thinking what happened was the Bactrim the oral medicine they gave me to get rid of all the bacteria I'm pretty sure that I must have just had an allergic reaction to it because I didn't do anything else different so I don't know if y'all can see, but my jaw is all the way down here on this side. But it was, my lips were huge. You can see they're still swollen because everybody know I got like a super thin top lip. So Lord, just be with your daughter. My toe is better. Now my toe, everything is drying out because um, the, the sores are like in between my toes. The bites were the infection was going in between my toes that's what made it harder to heal but now they're turning black it's going through the healing process and then i'll just have to put cocoa butter on it to get, take the darkness away i would like to thank you guys for tuning back in i'm closing the video out the proper way just want to give y'all some extra details on what it was it was an infection and we can all agree that we think it was fire ants fire ants fire ants be sure to join the team by hitting that notification bell, that subscribe button, and that like button.